this super jazzy, super fun original cast recording of Catch Me If You Can is here from Ghostlight Records. We're at Barnes & Noble to chat with the cast at a special performance and CD signing. Hey, Mr. Lawyer, Mr. Two of the you never can predict when fortune may smile. In fact, I think I'm on a break with tradition and tell J. Edgar Hoover, baby. Set the scene for us, Norbert. Where, what are we doing today? We're at the largest Barnes & Noble that I've ever seen in my life. I've never been to this one. We're going to do a little uh, meet and greet with fans for the CD release, which is very, very exciting. Mr. Aaron Tveit is here. Ms. Carrie Butler is here. Mark and Scott are here. It's going to be fun. So is it fun to meet the fans here? We've got a big bunch of fans today. We like fans. Yeah, the, the turnout's <laughs> wonderful. And so young, it's so nice to see. I wonder if that has something to do with Aaron Surveyed. <laughs> it looks like an episode of The Bachelor here. What about this room full of people at Barnes & Noble? I know, I can't believe there's that many people here. It's packed and there's people outside who haven't even gotten in here, are just sitting outside. So Tell us about this fabulous CD. Um, I love this music so much. The first day I did the reading of it, I just thought, oh my gosh, how is every song here a hit song? I have to admit, I, I don't listen to anything I record. I, I find it uh, my voice almost uh, grating to listen listen to. I'm hypercritical. I love this score so much. I even listen to myself. How did you feel the first time you listened to this all the way? Through? Um, I couldn't believe it was me on there. You know, really. I mean, I listened to it and some of the things that Mark was able to. Uh, you know, Mark and I worked so hard, and he really through this whole process and even making the demos, he really pushed me to find more things, more colors in my voice. I walk into the sunset, I sail across the sea, the final word, the last, you'll hear of me, of me, it's goodbye, goodbye to every night, alone, goodbye. It's a score that is um, such a great composite of sounds from the, from the early 60s, including real authentic pop jazz, you know, not musical theatery kind of jazz, but real authentic swing and jazz. And I love, love, love that style. of fun. Um, it starts out really high energy and then there's also like really touching moments like you know my song I hope is, is touching and emotional. So now they want to clip his precious wings and bring him down. Money in his heart and soul's the kind of good they can destroy. And now I want to see him goal in producing the record? To, you know, let the listener feel our love for this era and the style and these characters and capture these performances from these actors, so, uh, which, is, which is a great treat, a great treat. But now a new duet has made its debut. Let's make some butter 
out of 